All right, now do I get my... Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, this is where I get Pokeballs, because he teaches us how to catch Pokemon. Can't wait to watch this tutorial. It's going to be really interesting. Wow, look, he attacks the Pokemon, and he uses the Pokeball. He learns something new every day. It's how you catch Pokemon. Oh, shit, he gives us ten Pokeballs? thought you normally get five. Alright, well, this is our first encounter, so, uh... Let's, uh, let's see what our first Pokemon's gonna be. Oh! <laughs> uh... <laughs> well... Uh, it's, uh, it's a Cresselia. So I'm actually kind of worried. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to catch this thing. Because it's, uh, it's a fucking legendary. So its catch rate is like 3%. I'm gonna go for the Ember, and hope it, one, doesn't kill, and, wow, that, yep, that did not kill. <laughs> Alright, so we just gotta pray that it doesn't kill me, and that if I can get a burn, that would be so good. But the burn chance is, oh, fuck. Okay, only did three damage, not bad. Um, we're gonna go for another Ember and pray on the burn again. If he keeps spamming that Fairy Lock, that's good. Uh, cause I need to just spam this and just keep praying on a burn. That's not good though. <laughs> if he uses Acid Spray, we're in trouble. Holy shit, if I can get this, this would be big. Okay, so there is another problem. He might be a fire type. Now that I'm thinking about it, because... <sighs> this is, this is troublesome. I think since I have potions, I can just keep going for it. Um, but I really need this ember to burn, because if this ember burns, then our chances of catching him are going to be way higher. Uh, granted, ember's burn chance is like 10%, so we might be fucked. Okay, uh... This is troublesome. <laughs> Holy shit, my mine is special defense. Uh, I might have to use a potion here. I think I'll just use one to be safe. Because he he's lowered my special defense so much that I might die in two hits. Uh, let's see. Okay, alright, I can tank I can tank an extra hit, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna use Ember one more time. And once again... Okay, no burn. <laughs> All I need it to do is burn him. Please. I mean, granted, that's asking for a lot, but... Fuck. Okay, we gotta heal again. Oh god, he crit too. That is unfortunate, because we cannot heal to full HP. Alright, I'm gonna try to burn him, like, one or two more times. Uh, and then if that doesn't work, I might just start throwing Pokeballs. 
Come on, come on, hit the burn, hit the burn. It'd be really funny if he has like an ability that prevents burn. I just don't know it. Water gun. Oh, is he a water type? Wait, he might be a water type. Because he has water gun and he's not very effective, or er, fire is not very effective on him. So he might be water and potentially something else. We're going to go for one more ember. Damn, I was really hoping that would be the one that burns. Alright, how much damage does Water Gun do to me? Okay, if he crits me, I die. Uh, but we're just gonna bank on him being level 6 and half health and just pray that we catch him. One tick, two. Ho! Oh. Holy shit. Alright, good start, good start. We already have a Cresselia. Faint attack. Alright. Uh, I mean, I might as well learn that. Let's get rid of rap. God, I'm actually so happy. Holy shit. Starting off with a Cresselia. Alright, we can give this thing a nickname. Uh... The question is, what nickname? Well, I just gotta write him in the, uh, the log real quick. I need to write down on, like, a spreadsheet where I catch these Pokemon. Because since I can only catch one per, like, separate area, I, I would just completely forget. So I'm writing down, like, okay, Route 1, I caught Cresselia, my starter is Ponyta, like, <laughs> writing all this shit down. I think I'll actually just name the Cresselia Poggers. No, I'm just gonna name it Pog. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh, let's see what our Cresselia is. Let's see what the stat rolls are. It's holding Repel, nice. Wonders, what the fuck is, makes status moves more likely to miss. Water Drag, oh, Water Dragon type. He has 20 special defense, and 20 defense, and 20 attack. This is... Holy shit, this is so good. Unfortunately, I have two special attack moves, but, like, at the same time, it's fucking Cresselia. Uh, so I can't complain, because, uh... My stats are cracked. And Water Dragon type, that's a really interesting type, actually. Alright, let's take that repel off. Alright. Uh, and I don't think our next encounter is for a while, actually. Because, uh, we have to go all the way to, like, trainer school or something, and beat, like, a ton of trainers. I'm very happy that I got faint attack though, because uh, having an attack that never misses is quite nice. Because uh, you never know when you're going to get that uh, random trainer who just lowers your accuracy infinitely. Alright, first trainer battle. Wait, never mind. It's got to do the cutscene first. Alright, now first trainer battle. Please don't have megas or legendaries. File plume. Okay, that's moderately threatening, but it's not a mega. Alright, we're just gonna use a leaf blade. We're gonna bank on it being like water type or something. Alright, good. Super effective. Perfect. Oh, it's a shot. <laughs> 
It's a shiny Del Caddy that the train. All right, well, trainer's already flexing on me. First trainer immediately has a shiny. All right, well, we're gonna kill it. So, weather ball. It's gonna be grass type. I have no idea what type that was. I don't know if the animation actually shows what type it was. To be honest, I don't entirely understand how Weather Ball even works. I know it changes type based on like the environment, I think. And presumably since it's called Weather Ball, uh, it probably also changes based on if there's weather. <laughs> Safe assumption. Alright, well that was a really easy first trainer, so I, I lucked out. I was kind of expecting it to be legendaries and megas. But who knows, maybe the game will be nice and it'll never uh, give me insanely difficult trainers that'll uh, kill me instantly. Delibird. Leaf Blade, I guess. Carvana. Yeah, good start. These uh these trainers are actually normal, which is surprising. Cause normally in these playthroughs, I feel like almost every first trainer is just like, hey, uh, we're just gonna nonchalantly have like a Reshiram. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Level 10. Alright, I'm gonna switch in, uh,. Honestly, I don't think I'll keep, be keeping the starter for too long. So, uh, we're gonna switch Cresselia to our first slot. Metapod. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna get murdered by the Metapod. He, I mean, his defense could have rolled to his attack, so who knows. A critical hit. Oh no, he did three damage and almost died. Okay. Ooh, another trainer. Yeah, so far trainers have been really nice. I was really expecting them to have straight up like Reshram, Rayquaza, Megas, stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, they've just had like Metapods and stuff. Yeah, Lotad. All right, Cresselia. Get some XP. <laughs> One damage, nice. Yeah, this Cresselia is pretty tanky. I'm pretty happy with that. And not bad offensively, too. Uh, my speed is pretty bad, but that's kind of fine. Like, I'm okay with that, because I'm tanky. Alright, knowing how randomizers work, Vaporeon's normally water type, so with randomized types, I'm just gonna guess water super effective. Or not. Sky Sky Drop? Oh. Okay. 
Is that gonna kill me? I think I have too much defense. I should be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm scared for a second. Dude, this guy's just gonna spam sky drop. Oh, fuck. So it's probably a flying type. So we're just gonna use faint attack. Because. Oh, perfect. It might be, uh. It might be like ghost, I'm assuming. I gotta go heal though, because. Uh, otherwise I will die- uh-oh. Can I not- can I not heal? <laughs> okay, alright, I can go down here. I was scared there for a second, I was like, wait a minute. Am I just going to the festival with, like, one Pokemon almost dead? Ah, Mimikyu. Alright, we'll go heal, then, uh, I should be good to take on the festival, but, you know, worst case scenario, I lose and I just, I go back to the festival, so, <laughs> not really a big deal. But I am kind of worried, though, uh, because I feel like, I, since all of today, I've just been like, oh, there's no legendaries, this is pretty easy, it's not too bad. Uh, I feel like, since I've been saying that, there's gonna be at least a legendary or two in this trial event, or the, uh, whatever the hell it's called. The good news is at least I have the Cresselia, so it's not like I got a bad first encounter and then I'm just screwed. Omotos. Wait, what? Hold up, I gotta look up that ability. Komatoes Pokemon. It's always drowsing and will never wake up. It can attack without waking up. What? Oh, does that just mean... Oh, so it can't... Yawn doesn't affect it, and then it- oh, okay, alright, well that's an interesting ability, I guess. I, I don't know what Pokemon has that normally, but not my problem. Alright, off we go. Please don't have any legendaries. Although, honestly, I don't even know why I'm really saying that, because I have a legendary. So, like... <laughs> They have a legendary, so I'll just fight their legendary with my legendary. Sick mustache, dude. <laughs> He's really, uh, really massaging his mustache there. Alright, later. Alright, let's do a quick save. Or not, there's a cutscene. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this cutscene. There we go. Alright, now we're saving. 